Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. I want to add another very important piece of information to what we are watching on May 16th. The national speech to the graduates by Barack Obama. I had shared with you that this is the day on the Hebrew calendar of manna rest, the Sabbath of manna rest when God told them not to go out into the wilderness to seek for manna because he had given them a double portion the previous evening, the previous day. On the Friday, it's the, it's the day of Sabbath manna rest on the Hebrew calendar. Well, this piece of information was sent to me in a comment in, in uh, one of my previous videos, how May 16th on the Islamic calendar is the Islamic night of power. It's the, the day of Ramadan, the 23rd day of Ramadan, okay? May 16th on the Islamic calendar is the Islamic night of power. In Arabic, it's called the night of al Qadr. So if we go to the date convert, just to show you how this works, May 16th, you go into a date converter, you put in May 16th, and down in the bottom, the last date shown, the Islamic date, it's the Islamic year 1441, it's Ramadan, and it's the 23rd day. Okay, now here's another detail about this. Ramadan in the Islamic calendar is the ninth month. Okay, here are the months of the Islamic calendar. Ramadan is the ninth month. So what does that mean? May 16th on the Islamic calendar is 923. <laughs> okay, it's the day on the Gregorian calendar of the Revelation 12 sign, 923. 923 has been huge in all the uh, revelations about the movies and just 923 is shown everywhere, everywhere. So that's a very interesting detail about this, May 16th. It's the uh, ninth month, 23rd day on the Islamic calendar. But I wanted to just share a few things with you about the night of power in Ramadan, what that is, what that means. Traditions of the night of destiny or the night of power, the Quran does not specify which day of Ramadan the night of destiny took place on, but most Muslims consider it to have happened on an odd-numbered night in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Many Sunni Muslims believe it to be the 27th night, while most Shiite Muslims consider it to have happened on the 23rd. Okay, it could be on any odd night in the last 10 days of Ramadan, it could be the 21st, 23rd, 25th, or the 27th of Ramadan. And the Shiite Muslims believe that it happened on the 23rd. So according to the Shiite Muslims, the night that uh, Barack Obama is going to be speaking is the exact night they would be looking for the Islamic night of power in the month of Ramadan. The night of power, also known as the night of decree in an Arabic, known famously as Leif Lalatul Kader, is a significant night during the month of Ramadan for Muslims all over the world. For it was on this blessed night that the Quran was revealed over 1400 years ago as a guiding light in mercy. Okay, so the night of power is the night that the Quran was revealed. Okay, this is why this is so important within uh, the Muslim communities. God Almighty describes the night of power in the Quran as, Verily we have sent it, this Quran, down in the night of power. And what will make you know what the night of power is? The night of power is better than a thousand months.
Wow, the night of power is better than a thousand months. Therein come down the angels and the spirit Gabriel by Allah's permission and all decrees, with all decrees. And all that night there is peace and goodness from Allah to his believing slaves until the appearance of dawn. Okay, so the, the night of power was the night that the Quran was sent down. They say the night of power, one night is better than a thousand months. And that this is the night that Angel Gabriel came down and brought peace. Okay, so there is peace and goodness. The, the, the Muslims would look for peace on the night of power. As this verse teaches us, the night of power is a night that is better and higher in rank than 1,000 months. When calculated into years, this adds up to over, 30, over 83 years. Most people do not even live past the age of 83, and yet God Almighty has gifted mankind with a single night of innumerable blessings, a night worth more than a lifetime. Can you even imagine that? Glory to God, the most gracious, the most merciful. It is the only night in which Angel Gabriel, along with all the other angels, descends from heaven to the earth, a night abundant with the blessings and mercy showered down upon Muslims by God as each of them turns sincerely to him, seeking his forgiveness and guidance as the pages of their books and records are opened and their destinies are decreed for the coming year. This is comparative to the Day of Atonement in the Hebrew calendar where the books are, 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 sh are shut or the books are opened and the destinies are decreed for the coming year. Okay, so this... Night of power in the, in the Islamic calendar is the, the Day of Atonement on the Hebrew calendar. This is the, the comparison, okay? Because this is what happens on the Day of Atonement where your fate is sealed based on the Feast of Trumpets and the 10 Days of Awe and the preparation and then judgment is com will come on the, uh, on the Day of Atonement. And so this is why the Muslims will seek God's grace, according to them, you know, God, Allah. This is why they will seek God's grace and mercy so that on the night of power they can be in favor with God to receive his blessings for the coming year. Okay. This night, according to the prophet Muhammad, is to be found and searched for during the last 10 nights of Ramadan and will fall most likely on an odd night. Thus, during these last ten nights, Muslims from all over the world, in groups and in solitude, in public and in private, in every language known to exist, in every ticking minute of the hour, strive to worship God ardently and sincerely, seeking entrance into his paradise and protection from his hellfire. It is these nights in which the essence of Taweed, oneness of God, Almighty alone, is revived and rekindled in the hearts of Muslims as the realization that their fate and result in the hereafter ultimately and completely lies with the Lord. Nightlong prayers are established and fervent supplications are asked, every tongue wet with the remembrance of Allah, every heart yearning to seek his pleasure, hands are raised, eyes are overflowing with tears, knees are bent, foreheads are prostrated out of their sheer humility in complete submission to the creator it is a night on which muslims are reminded of the simple fact that they're slaves that the creator is the almighty and all-powerful that this world is perishable that the hereafter is everlasting and that the every beat of their heart is bringing them closer to their final end so dear brothers and sisters look out and search for the night of decree and increase your worship on this night a night on which peace will descend on your world, your every supplication will be answered, and your sins will be forgiven. Okay. Well, this is the night that Barack Obama is going to be speaking. Okay, so this could be, I mean, if he, out of the blue, speaks in Aramaic, or Arabic, okay, you know, he is, uh, he declared clearly that he was a Muslim, he was with, um, uh, what was the name, Stephano George Stephanopoulos in, a, in, a, um, in an interview, and he 
came out and said, my Muslim faith, my Muslim faith. He also said that the, uh, the, the, the bell of prayers that are given is the, is the sweetest sound to his ears. The bell of Islamic prayers is the sweetest sound that he could ever hear. So this is the night that the Muslims will be looking for the arrival of the peacemaker. They're looking for the peace to come down and this would be the night that they could possibly expect their savior, their, their Messiah, their Antichrist, Muhammad reincarnate, the night of power. Okay, this is the information that I'm, I'm sharing with you. What, what would they expect on this night? Okay, a night on which peace will descend on the world. Okay, so... This could be a night where Barack Obama will make a call to the Muslims and will unite the army of ISIS, the the Assyrian uniting his army. It could be the, 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 the call to battle, okay? It's not just any night that Barack Obama has this worldwide stage. This is the night of power on May 16th. Now add this to the fact that the birthing ritual I showed in, in my previous video, how from the day of the pandemic on March 11th, which was Purim, adding 66 days to May 16th is the manna Sabbath, adding 14 days to that is Pentecost, and adding 66 days to Pentecost is uh, the birthday of Barack Obama. So we have a double birthing ritual of the female, according to Leviticus 12, 5, 80 days of 14 plus 66 days, and the night of Barack Obama's speech is the Islamic night of power. Okay? So this is a very important detail added to all of this. And we have these graphics that I shared with you in my previous video, everything pointing to Pentecost on May 30th. We've got the 1260, 1290, plus the 1,335 days from the, uh, the uh, Covenant with Many, the Obama Nobel Peace Prize, pointing to May 30th. We've got the timeline of Noah, 1290 days pr prior to May 30th, Pentecost was the beginning of the flood as Jupiter was entering Virgo on Chess Van 17, November 17, 2016. Adding 1260 days to that brings us to November 11th, 2023, which is Chess Van 27, the end of the flood. So we have a perfect timeline of the flood on May 30th based on the 1290, the 1260 days. Plus we have the double birth ritual of the female and adding to the fact that May 16th is the Muslim night of power. Okay? So if there's any details lacking, well, we're trying to cover all the bases and all the understanding and all the reasonings why every day is important. Every day that we are watching is important. And this adds so much weight to the fact that May 16th could be a battle call to the Muslim world. And then we have the blessed day, which is day 1,335 from the Feast of Trumpets, Pentecost, May 30th, 2020. So what we were saying at the beginning, the night of power in the Islamic calendar is said to be one night is better than a thousand months. Doesn't that sound similar to what it says in 2 Peter 3, 8? Do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. To the Muslims, one night of power is worth 1,000 months. And to God, a day is as a thousand years. And this passage in 2 Peter chapter 3, if we look at the context, 
It's talking about the coming of the Lord. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the, from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that, with, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As, as some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us were, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night of power. Wow. They're, they're looking for their night of power. Wow. This is the day that they could be expecting their Antichrist, their Muhammad reincarnate. The, the Al-Mahdi, the, the, the 12th Imam. Wow. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The elements shall melt, melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay. So I wanted to just add some details here to let you know there is more going on on May 16th. We need to be aware of this. We need to be aware of this. This could be the night that Barack Obama sends out a worldwide call to the Muslims. Watch for him to say things in Arabic that we do not understand. But to the Muslims, they know what is being said. They know that he is announcing his arrival. He is announcing that he is the Mahdi, the 12th Iman, that he is their savior, that he is the Antichrist. Okay? So the message may be to his people. He will use this stage. Believe me, he will use this stage to bring forth some type of call. And this is the Muslim night of power. So be aware, be vigilant, watch always for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is nigh. I pray you're blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed. <laughs>